Greetings and welcome to Educational TV Kitchen. Blessings to all my subscribers and all these here for the first time. Please hit the subscribe button and leave your comment down below. And Merry Christmas to all. It's so many nice people and a happy, happy new year. And today, we are teaching them how to make Jamaican yard style rum cake straight. You know what I say? Yard style rum cake from start to finish. You know what I say, people? Family, we say family. We love the family art. Because we say family. Yes, people, straight. You know, not a popcorn song. No, people, we're just showing you now all of the ingredients we need for make the Jamaican yard style rum cake because it's easy people you know what i say and i know when you watch all when you all watch this video by the end of the video you can say yeah you will make a jamaican rum cake you know what i say yard style so for first people you will start off with the ingredients so first thing you know we need butter yeah we need butter people and make sure when you go to the store and pick up the butter make sure you have and you get unsalted butter you know that's the people straight yeah because you don't want to bake your cake and then after you bake your cake it tastes salty you know what i say so you pick up the unsalted butter and this butter have been four stick people you know what i say and another tip again too if you decide when you're going to make your cake you know what i say if you, if you say you're going to make the cake in the morning you put all the butter overnight we could get room temperature you know what i say that means them kind of get soft it's like this so it's easy to dissolve when you put it in the mixer. Yeah, so we'll put it this one. So the next thing, we need a little pinch of salt, people. Just a little tip, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, and we also need baking powder. Yeah, and all spice. So I said, people, straight. Then we have the good old rose water. Then we have the browning, you know what I'm saying? The browning is, is gonna decide how dark you know you, you want to make your cake. No, me specialize. I like when my Jamaican yard style rum cake dark. You know what I'm saying? And people, a lot of people call these cake different names. Some people call it Christmas cake. Some people call it fruit cake. You know what I'm saying? Some people call it black cake. But my thing is, is this is Jamaican yard style rum cake straight yeah so the next thing again people will need vanilla you know what i said mr vanilla and also we're gonna need jamaican rum with them say jerry and in nephew these are the jamaican rum people straight and we also need red label wine you know what i said straight you know what i mean and no, this time we need nutmeg. You know what I say? Nutmeg. We need it. You know what I say? And what again we have now? Then we have we need fruits. You know what I mean? And people, you know, soaking fruits. We'll make another video and show you guys how to soak and prepare your fruits. You know what I'm saying? Because some people, you know, prepare them fruits from say January for making them cake in a December, you know what I mean? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve months, you know what I mean? So and, and next thing again too, the longer the fruits soak, it's even to better. It tastes better. You know what I'm saying? So this is this is the fruit. And my fruits now I soak for the last six, seven, eight months. You know what I mean? Yeah. Now then people we need also we need eggs. Yeah, we need eggs. You know what I mean? And we don't need lime, you know, because we have to put some lime in it, you know, that's the people straight. So this is the Jamaican yard style rum cake, you know what I mean? So now, you know, and then the next thing, last, last but not least, we need blender, because we have to use the blender for blend out the fruits, you know what I'm saying? And people, the, the fruits, you know, some people, they like when the fruits blend out, you know, some people like when they have a little chunk a little fruit when I eat them cake. Now for my preference, I bake it both ways. But my preference most of the time, I kind of try to blend it out. You know what I mean? 
So it's all your choice, you know what I'm saying? And this is a mixer, you know, that's a people straight. So as I said, we'll get into it and start this project from start to finish. Jamaican yard style rum cake. These people, this 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 are the pan, this are the pants. You know what I'm saying? These are the pans where the cake, where the cake gonna go inside. You know what I mean? So we have three set of pans there right now, right? And this is what we use. You know, parchment paper. And later in another video, I'm gonna show you how to put the parchment paper in it. I'm gonna demonstrate it demonstrate to you guys how to put the parchment paper because you got to cover the pan and grease the pan you know that's the people straight so you know that's just it so we'll start the project now right away this Jamaican yard style rum cake yes people you know that's it so now that we get everything out of the way the first thing we're going to start the right now is get the butter into the thing for uh, dissolve you know what I say and another trick I'm going to tell the people is when you take this butter from this package, right? You don't throw them away. You leave it to grease the pan where you're going to put the cake in. So you put one and you put it aside like this. And then, and this, this cake I'm going to make people today, it, it just need four sticks of butter you know what i say four stick of butter so this is two now yeah so you just put them aside yeah got this name jamaican yard style rum cake you know what i say people and it's easy man just follow the instruction and just follow yeah right Now, now we have all four in it, so we just put these aside. You know what I'm saying? Because we need it later to put them. We need it later for grease, grease upon them. So we have some people, so we just put it aside, like right there. And yeah. So the next thing, people, when you start off using a mixer, always start off slow and then gradually increase the speed. right so now we're there so just start yeah yeah that's how it look like people so the next thing you know we need sugar people and this is brown sugar you know what i said brown sugar and this this brown sugar you know it's 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 what i use most of the time because you see the texture and it's the color, it's brown, right? So that's what I, I use, you know what I mean? So we need two cups of sugar to go with that for the second. This is my box, you know? Check up on this right now. Yeah, it's coming nice. That's what you want to get. The, you want to get the, this fluffy. You know what I mean? So it's coming nice. Family, we say family. We love the family. Heart.
Yeah, so this reach a stage now, people, where, you know, so it look, yeah, so sometimes just do it like this, yeah, um, yeah, nice and creamy so far, yeah, you know, that's the cake and start, people, yeah, so you see, yeah, you know what I mean, yep, Jamaican yard style. So you know, say so this on its way, you know what I say? Yes, people. Right? So I just give back a little what? So this is good now, good texture now. See it? See it, people? Yeah, this is good texture. Nice, eh? Yeah, see it? See it, people, are nice. Yeah. Okay now, so we're gonna add the sugar here now. So this is one cup of sugar. And we're gonna put we're gonna add another cup. And we need two cups of sugar. Get a little touch more, yeah. Now the first one is kind of short a little bit, you know. So we'll put in another one, yeah. So that is it, people. See, that's two cup of sugar now inside the thing. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Two cup of sugar. Yeah, so this is the next step now, people. Yeah, so that, we're always remember to start off slow, slowly but surely. Yeah, so start off slowly but surely. Yeah. Next step now people is the exit. And for this size cake we're gonna to make today, we need eight eggs. You know what I'm saying? Eight eggs. So we're gonna prepare the eggs there in the meantime, then that go on. for the knife, eh? And always remember to wash all of these things, people. Clean them off, you know what I mean? Wash line. So what we're gonna do, we need some of the zest. And don't go inside. If for example, people, use this side of the grater. You do, do it like this.
just slightly speed, you see? Yeah. Because the main reason why we use the test, because you know, making a size cake like this and have paintings inside of it, you don't want to take out some of the raw, it's kind of want to make a cake and then, you know, when I eat the cake, the cake raw, you know what I'm saying, people? So this gives a nice flavor and also take the raw and the salt of it, you know what I'm saying, people? Yeah. And we don't stop there, people. No. We need some lime juice in it. Too. Good, nice. Yeah. Now this gives a nice flavor, you know? Nice flavor, people, you see? Yeah, nice. Family, we say family. We love the family heart. We say family. Nice and easy. No people, all who don't subscribe, please subscribe to my channel, Educational TV. You know what I'm saying, people? And support the thing. You know what I'm saying? That you can get more videos. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because the next video I'm going to make people is to show you how to prepare and soak your fruits. That's the next video. So please subscribe to my channel, Educational TV. Love and all, man. And big shout out to all of the subscribers, man, and fans. And also the ones there who are watching the video but don't subscribe up yet. You know, still love you. Blessings. So now, we get that out of the way, people. That's a little bit more, yeah. So now we get that out of the way. So we just whip it like this. Yeah, now you see? It's a yard man style, rum cake. You know what I mean? Yard man style rum cake. Now some people, some people do it the opposite way. Where they leave the eggs up separately and put them in them two two. But I do it the yard man style. They just gradually add, add it, gradually, gradually, gradually add them. You don't pour everything one side. One time in that bowl, you know what I mean? Just, grab, just, just gradually add some of the juice, right? So now we get this out of the way. People, you see it? You see it how it's looking now? Nice and easy. Yeah. Nice texture. Yeah. That's how I like it, man. Yeah. That's how I like it, people. Oh, you like it, thing? Yeah. See it? Nice and easy. Yeah, so do it like a more. So let's all give it a little more.
thing now, now that this is going on, the next thing now, we're going to blend the fruits. You know what I mean? We're going to blend the fruits. And I usually use four, four or five cups of fruits for this size cake. You know what I'm saying? But fruits never too enough. You know what I'm saying, people? And as I said, I'm going to make another video to teach you how to soak and prepare the fruits. So now we're going to add four cups of fruit in the blender. Mm. So people, this is how we add the eggs. Because we don't want it to be get to cradle. So we just add it liquor by liquor. So we go like this. Nice. Yes. Liquor by liquor. You add it liquor by liquor. All done. So that's why you add it, little by little. That's it, look, people. Nice. Yeah. So now. So 
now is the time for the fruits. So as I said, now we have four cups of fruit. So as I said, most people like when the fruits blend out. Most people like when the fruits. So as I said, most people like when the fruits blend out. Some people like when the fruit have a little bits and pieces of fruits when they eat in the cake. I eat both ways sometimes. But for this one, I'm just gonna leave a little texture in the fruit. You know what I'm saying, people? So we're gonna go ahead now and blend the fruits. And you just, you just need like two, three, two minutes, two and a half minutes, the amount of fruits that's in there. We say family. Yes, people, this is the yard man side. So after we get the fruits, the fruits blend now. It's a chunk. Then we're gonna put it in to the container. So we just do like this. Yeah. Nice. Family. We say family. Me love the family. We say family. 